for today's video. It's another vlog. I'll be showing to you behind the scenes of our business. So this week is kind of, this weekend particularly, it's kind of busy weekend. Uh, we have trainings, we have a coffee cart service, and I'll also be dutying as a barista this weekend. So this vlog will be about the behind the scenes of operating a cafe. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. By the way, make sure to watch until the end of this video because I'll be giving three business tips by answering three business questions. So I started this BC weekend with a private coffee business training. And then we had a coffee cart service for a wedding. Actually, the bride here is our customer, our regular customer, and we're happy to serve coffee and milk tea for her guests during her wedding. Hi, uh, you. <laughs> we're ready for the milk tea. And I'm back to my usual tasks every week. I usually do the as a barista sa cafe para I can also get to experience the operations and be also hands-on with the service and I also get to really be aware of any problems during operations so I can better understand our employees. And also in this way when I am in the frontline service I would also be able to understand better the needs of our customers.
And to end the busy weekend is a regular group coffee business training. So during our training, we actually start with the theories of coffee. And then I discuss coffee brewing at the same time hands-on. So in the morning here, we're currently doing a manual coffee brewing method. We actually do two to three manual coffee brewing method every training. And then in the afternoon, we do the espresso machine brewing and then I discuss the most important part of this training which is the business side of coffee. So I discuss about costing, pricing, and also I disclose supplier database for our aspiring coffee business owners during the training. If you're interested to join, here are the links. If you're in Cebu or near Cebu, you can join the face-to-face -face trainings. Or if you are not from Cebu or Medyo Malayo sa Cebu, you can also join my Zoom workshops, the online version of our hands-on coffee business training. So ngayon, let's answer three questions that I have chosen that are related to the video that I have shared today. So una-una, Faye, how do you manage the team, especially pag my coffee cart? So this is a challenge every time, no? Pag my coffee cart booking, kasi we cannot close naman sa cafe, di ba? So we still have to continue operating here, accepting walk-in and dine-in customers. But also at the same time, we have to send people to take care of the coffee cart during the event. So depende kung ilan yung cups na nabook, usually pag uh, 50 to 75, we have two people na pinapadala. And if it's 100 or more, we have three people na pinapadala. So here in the cafe, I have three. Currently, I have three people. And then I also have one na two pala. I have two na on call. So when you say on call, they don't have to be here, no, full time sa cafe. We just book them if there are coffee cart service. However, itong mga on call ko are already trained on how to make the coffee and also trained na on how to do service specifically for coffee carts. So that's how I usually manage the people in our coffee cart service. Also then, when we accept bookings, no, we just don't accept kung basta-basta. Uh, we always check the date, if available pa ba. Uh, we check if how many cups, san yung location, no? Baka kasi ang layo and it would need uh, more travel time. So those are also things that we consider. Now, second question that I have chosen, which is related naman to what we do here in the cafe, which are our trainings and workshop. Faye, why do you train people? Are you breeding your own competition? Now, I'll be answering this question by going back to our business model and our purpose and our business concept. The same thing with any other business. Whatever decision you need to do, always go back to your business model, always go back to your why, your objective, and your concept of your business. Samin, our concept and our business model is more of a learning cafe. So aside from providing a space for people to study and work, no, for us to be different, for us to be remarkable, kasi ang dami ng cafes na provide ng space, di ba, where you can study and work. Pero ang kaibahan namin, aside from just providing the space, the food, and the coffee for you to study and work, we also teach. And yung mga trainings and workshops namin are part of our business revenue model. Apart from that, you cannot also say no, that I'm breeding my own competition because if you think of it, no, I don't need or we don't need to sell, every, to, sell to everybody here in Cebu para maging profitable kami. Hindi kailangan lahat ng tao sa Cebu bumili sa amin. Diba? And I hope you also think that way to your competition. You don't need to bring down each other just for you to become profitable. You can always stay in a healthy competition and thrive together. Kasi if you come to think of it, ang daming pwedeng bentahan. Ang challenge mo lang talaga with a competition is how can you be different and how can you be remarkable. And then another question, <laughs> which I'm often asked even uh, by our students no, during our trainings, Faye, ano bang best food na i-pair with coffee na pwedeng i-serve sa cafes? Now, actually, this is also one of our struggles here no, sa cafe. Kasi we actually have a big space. It's 150 SQM. However, we have a very small kitchen. 
and perhaps i'll just go back no to that time now we were still constructing the cafe and renovating our architect asked us if um we would want to have a bigger kitchen or a smaller one and again with that decision you no know, we, we we went back to our business model and our business concept we really want to provide a space to study and work aside from trainings and workshops uh, we want to have conference room wherein people can rent diba or they can be productive with their meetings and we need bigger spaces sa mga trainings and workshops namin so we opted for a smaller kitchen and use that bigger space for our conference room now our coffee studio also which is this room <laughs> where i am taking um this video so nangyari um as much as we want to serve gourmet meals yung mga fancy meals hindi pwede diba because again it's not our um priority our business model is not really a cafe restaurant but more of a learning cafe so what we serve as food here or all day breakfast yung mga easy lang and if you're trying to ask me, ano yung mga best uh, food for cafes? Again, always go back to your business concept. So let's say, yung cafe mo is merong, um, merong theme, no? Provide food na within that theme as well. But the easiest way with regards to um, food for cafes are, of course, cakes, no? Cookies, um, sandwiches. If you want to provide really the gourmet meals and you would turn that into a bistro cafe, make sure you have a bigger kitchen. So again, as I answer that, um, perhaps I would need also to know what's your business concept and um, what's your aim in your cafe. Diba? Ano ba yung revenue model nyo? Because that would matter in the type of food that you would be serving. And I do that consultation with my students. So if you're interested, you can contact me here through my Instagram and Facebook. I also do cafe business consultations. Now make sure you're subscribed in this channel because next week in my next video, I'll be sharing about a 10,000 pesos puhunan for a coffee business. So make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell to be notified for that next video. For the meantime, you can watch this video here so you would know what type of small cafe you can start with. I'll see you there!